Another one, it's Retroaction. We're back to the Retroaction Horvid. This is Retroaction Horvid 12. And uh, I've just come back from the Vintage Room Toy Fair 2000, well, 3rd of July 2021. And this is my uh, Vintage Room Toy Fair, 3rd of July 2021 haul. Now I had a fantastic time. Uh, I was there from about 12 to 1, good hour there. And it was quite impressive really, I mean before, well the last one I went to in September 2000, in August 2021 I believe, I just checked back, uh, I believe the date was 19th of August 2021, something like that. Um, yeah, I've got Modulock and a GoBot and a uh, Star Spike Machine Mini Action Transforming Set. Well this time I've got 12 things in total, um, uh, as you can see I came back with two big blue bags and a uh, I just, well, I've swapped the bags, and so this darker blue one here is with the stuff that should be in this one, but never mind, whatever, doesn't matter, but, you know, some of these are two different colours, and plus I've got a bunch of different stores. Um, bit of a nightmare finding the entrance, because it was at a hotel, which was, you know, quite a big hotel, and, and the entrance wasn't at the front, it was around the back, so that was helpful. Uh, but aside from that, once you got there, uh, it was quite easy. And, uh, well, to start with, there was a Power of Force 2. There was a Star Wars store, which I skipped but I passed. I was going to go in, but instead we just went straight into the main hall. And there, well, I immediately found myself with a box of trans Transformers G1 stuff. Let's put this over there. And, uh, upon looking through it a bit further, I managed to find a Rock Lord. Spike Stone, I've transformed him, and he's in good condition. A bit further down, I also found a Jewel Lord. This is a really rare figure. This is Sunstone. He's a Jewel Lord. He's Rock. Lord. He's another Rock Lord. So that's quite cool. He's really rare that one. There's also a Generation Two Gobot. This was blowout. Unfortunately, he was fifteen pounds. Uh, I asked the guy if he had the gun. He didn't. Uh, so this one's a tenner, he was 40, and I also managed to get the GoBot, this is Bentwing, and he was £9 as well, and they managed to do a discount, we got quite a few discounts actually, so he's one of the last GoBots, he's like a Series 3 one, 1986, nineteen eighty-seven, somewhere around there, he's quite cool, he's like a World War II fighter plane, I think he's Corsair Air, something like that, Corsair, yeah. Spike Stone is cool because he's one of the rocker source. Actually, I might have to say it again because of all the scrunching. Uh, yeah, Spike Stone is cool because he's one of the rocker saws. Uh, Flame uh, Sunstone is really cool because he's one of the jewel lords, which are really hard to find. Uh, like really rare rock lords. I think they might be the rarest, so that's cool. And this G2 Gobot. Well, he transforms like so. Unfortunately, this guy is blowout. And he's. The second Generation 2 figure I've managed to get. I don't know why it's so hard to find Transformers Generation 2 figures. Let's see, he's got a good head sculpt there, So, yeah, I'm really pleased to finally get one of these. Really pleased. because. Uh, and this is the best tour I've had in quite a while. In quite, in quite a while. So, that's really good. So, a great start. That was just the first store. So, that's crazy. I mean, I've already blown through, what, £60 was that, I believe? We ended up saying we spent over 200 and we ended up having a discount of about 23 pounds apparently. We've added it up to. Right, anyway, so now we continue with the next bit. The next store had more Transformers, and uh, there's one that has definitely, definitely caught my eye the second I saw it, and that was G1 Blitzwing. And he's got his missiles, his sword, and his gun. He was £25 he was, and I've got him out. The plastic's nice, the die cast is really good. Uh, a bit loose at the turret. One of the tail fins are broken, one of these parts. If you can see there, that one's whole. That one isn't. That's the only downside to it. And the, 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 um, the gun tuck doesn't stay up. But aside from that, it was fantastic. <coughs> and I've since transformed it, since coming back. And it works well in robot mode and jet mode. The only issue is really the... Or the broken tail fin. And in fact, I'm just going to show you a few pictures that I took when I was there. Uh, I did see this guy, Predator Falcon, with the gold plastic launcher. There is me with Sunstone there, and there's Hunger as well. 
And there's also this giant lot of Masters of the Universe figures. If I can get this to zoom in. Zoom in. There you see there, I've got loads of Masters of the Universe figures. There's Visionaries as well. I mean, they've got Squeeze back there. Too bad. It's like Stone Rock on, I think. Yeah, there's loads of them. Got Visionaries Lance Silver for £80. Down here is the Sky Claw, which is a bit of a shame because uh, as I passed this store, which I got a bullet swing off, obviously, yeah. Uh, there was another £25 added to the total, and as I walked past, I noticed there was a Skyclaw with Mortred for £40 in Visionary Skyclaw. And a bit guarded, really, that I didn't see that earlier, because I probably would have picked that up instead. Or maybe picked it up as well, I don't know. Well, unfortunately, I missed my chance for that. And back there is the Captured Chariot, which I believe was 150 quid. And you'll see, we've got T16 Skyhopper and some other kind of stuff. And uh, we come on to this next. Unfortunately, it's quite a bad photo, but this was trying to capture the MicroMasters. I don't really know why I took that photo. I don't think I even knew he took it at the time. Yeah, there you go. And you see there's a pretender road grabber there. And finally, I managed to get these, but we'll get to that as it goes on. So that is it for the second store. And then I come on to that store, the MicroMasters, of which, for some reason, the Constructor Squad showed up with the store on Blitzwing. The store Blitzwing was on. And they were selling the complete set, all, you know, all, you know, uh, all six. No, you know, all three, all nine uh, MicroMasters that make up the Constructor Squad, selling all of them together, £16. Here, well, I managed to get Sea Watch, but at one point I also had Eagle Eye, Sky High, and Treadbolt, which formed the Air Patrol, minus Blaze Master, who wasn't there. And uh, for some reason, they sold all of them separately, eight pounds each. So, you know, they didn't sell the Micro Masters as a patrol or as a squad. They sold them as individual figures. They sold them individually, which was really annoying. Yeah, that was a bit, so that was a bit disappointing. And the only one I managed to get in the end was Sea Watch. It was fifty quid in the end. How much Micro Masters I was going to get? And there was also the GoBot as well. Mac Three, I think it is. It's like a grey jet fighter plane. Not Leader One, but it's like a more silver. Yeah, it's definitely Mac free. Anyway, so yep, I managed to get Sea Watch and I needed him to complete the rescue patrol. So I finally completed one of my MicroMaster patrols. One thing I didn't notice is the one I originally picked up was missing this grey bit here that I'm pointing to. So good job I spot good job. Good job we spotted that. Um right, so that's the end of that. And then we went on and then well at that store we also found these figures. And as uh, earlier, well, earlier I managed to get this vehicle, but it didn't come with the clone. And uh, there are some mask figures, it's probably given away what it is, and there's visionaries as well. There was a Cravex for £25, there was a Leoric with the whip and the staff for £25 as well, I believe. I think they're both the same price. The Cravex was definitely £25, and, but one of this, but this legs was like out to the side of the bent or something. I don't know if the O ring's coming loose or what, but. I didn't pick it up in the end. I kind of wish I did, but never mind. Uh, do I? It depends, really, if, if it was in good condition or not. If it wasn't loose or broken. But either way, I was told there were some mask figures on that same store that I got the MicroMaster from, and I finally managed to get Wolf Beast's clone. And I've been after this guy for ages, because, of course, I've got the mask Wolf Beast. I did a video on it, and it was, I thought it came with the clone, but... When we bought it, it, there was no clone. And the problem was, well, the figure had a loose head. So I just managed to get him and get another one. So that's incredible. And he was like, Wolf Beast's figures are super rare. And uh, I managed to walk away with both the figure and the clone. And that's good because my figure has a loose head and it's really annoying me. And uh, now I have one that's got stiffer joints. So that's fantastic. Unfortunately, I'm still missing the masks, but... I finally have the clone for the second, you know, for the second vehicle. But it splits into two. But it's a split seconds vehicle, so I've, that is an incredible find. And uh, that is it for that store. And then we come on to the largest piece, which is uh, something I've been after as well for a long time. I've been after Wolfie's clone since I got the vehicle. It's such a shame it didn't come with it because I'm you know, splitting the two. I can't remember what it splits into now, but you know, you've got the two vehicles it splits into, and well, I only had the driver. I only had Miles Mayhem, I didn't have his clone, so 
or this holographic split image, whatever it's called. And, you know, it's computer image. So that's a shame. But I finally managed to get the clone now, so I have both figures for Wolf Beast. So both vehicles now have a driver, which is fantastic. And I was really pleased, really pleased I managed to get this figure. I wasn't expecting it, and well, there it was. And wow, well, ecstatic about that. That was fantastic. And well, now we come on to, well, there wouldn't be a toy haul for me without some Power of the Force 2, which I'd always seen T6 in the Skyhopper, but as I was going down the other side of the main hall, gone down, this was all one side, all this stuff, and when we went down the other end, the other end, I glimpsed this and immediately went back for it. And uh, this is the Star Wars. Well, I finally managed to pick this up. I've been looking for this for ages. This is, and um, I've already got the Dark Trooper from this line, but this is my favourite vehicle from Power Force Two, easily. And it's the Star Wars Expand Universe Airspeeder. So we've got the Kenner Collection logo there, and this is box, everything. Unfortunately, it's the multilingual box. I would have preferred it if it was an English box. But it was £30, I've taken the sticker off. And he said it came in the instructions as well. It does come in the instructions. I didn't know that at the time, because at the time when I opened it up to check it, I couldn't see the instructions, but I believe they were there. Or was hoping they were there, as he said. And then they were, because I've now since found them. And... Uh, I just love this vehicle ever since I found out about it because it's just amazing. And let's just give you a quick glimpse of it there. Oh. And it seems I've just taken the box out. There it is. I just love the design of this. Of course, this is a concept vehicle. It's not funny explaining this, but there it is. That is the Power Force 2 Airspeeder. And that is just fantastic. And then you can see you've got the instructions there. It's a Kenner. Excellent stuff, brilliant. It's even date, it's even uh, got Kenner as the manufacturer as well, not Hasbro, like some of the other Power Force 2 stuff. And this is the first Power Force 2 vehicle I've actually managed to get. And it's probably one of the worst ones. Yeah, I've had quite a hard time getting this guy. Because on eBay they wanted £38 for it, and I managed to get it for 30 here. And it comes the insert, and it's already been put together, and it's got the missile, and I haven't actually done the wing mechanism yet. The wings are spread out, as you can see up there. I haven't managed to do that yet. But it's... I haven't actually got my hands up figuring that out. So I'm going to... Oh, oh dear. I'm going to uh, get out the instructions and check that out. And get that mechanism going. Because obviously I've only really had a quick play on with it since I've taken it out of the box, of which it was already put together when I got when I opened it. Uh, so I opened it up, no, it was already cut on one side. You know, the box was already open on one side, it's already been used. Yeah, but I don't mind because it's in fantastic condition because it's in fantastic condition and it just looks really cool. It's a great vehicle that Kenner made. Probably one of the best in the nineties anyway. For the Power Force 2 gone. And talking of Power Force 2, that store that I missed at the start, well, we came back to at the end. I thought that would be the last item we got, because by that point we had run out of money. But um, there was the, but it turned out that store, of Power Force, that store with Power Force 2 figures, we're doing, it for, we're doing them for £5 each. So I managed to pick up, as you saw in the photo, the Death Star droid with Mouse droid, which is, I believe is the fan club exclusive, just like my Attack driver upstairs from Power Force 2. And Forlom, which is funny because I've got the vintage Kenner figure earlier this year, and now I've got the Power Force 2 version. Uh, unfortunately, something's going on, on something's going on with the card back there, but I don't mind. It's a cool figure. And again, multilingual packaging, unfortunately. And then finally, the last pickup, because it was five pounds for all these figures, five pounds each. I found this concept Snow Trooper figure, which is based on the Ralph McQuarrie concept art and it comes with like that power force 1985 style coins so that's really cool and it's from hasbro in 2007 for the 30th anniversary and i've never seen these before so that's really cool and that that does it that is my vintage and toy fair haul uh, much bigger than the last one i finally got my much well sought after power force 2 air speeder i really love that vehicle and to finally get it is amazing and I finally completed my Wolf Beast, well, as far as I want to complete it anyway, I don't really care about the masks, 
it's just good to have both drivers, uh, both fillers in. Got more rock lords, which is always great. And this guy is elusive. But I do want the dual lords, and I finally managed to pick one up. G1 Blitzwing is fantastic. Not many transformers this time around, but there were tons of G1s there. Uh, as you can see, I, I spent a lot on all the other stuff, so uh, I couldn't really come back with a huge ton of G1s alongside all this. Uh, so you know, there was a dread win for fifty pounds on the same on at the same store that uh, Blitzwing was at. The same store that Blitzwing was on, and uh, I passed on that. It was fifty quid for dread wind is a bit steep in my opinion. There we go. Uh, this G two Gobot would have been nice if it came with a gun. He's fifteen pounds, unfortunately. We did get a discount on most of this stuff, uh, I believe. Yes, we might have got a discount on, but we definitely got a discount on all these. These were 75, I believe. All the, the the stuff we bought at first, from the first store we went to. Uh, I believe we got 60 for that. They let us get a discount. And they let us get a discount with Blitzwing. I think, anyway, these guys definitely got a discount on the Wolf Beast and that Micromaster. Yeah, so that's, this has been Retroaction with uh, Vintage Bomb Toy Fan. 3rd of July 2021 uh, my haul uh, and it's just been a fantastic day and a great hour and, I mean, what better than seeing all these vintage toys and a whole well, a whole venue and full of them and, you know, it's just incredible to get out and shop for vintage toys because as much as it's you know, fun as it is to look on eBay and just order stuff off eBay well that doesn't beat going out and getting stuff yourself and it's just a great experience well, yeah this has been a fantastic time i had a fantastic time and i love g1 blitz thing he's great definitely going to do a review on him soon finally got another Jershin 2 figure i finally got one of the g2 gobots more rock lords which is always great uh, more gobots and finally completed my wolf beast well, as far as i want to complete it anyway so yep this has been the retroaction world with 12 thank you very much for watching and um what a great day, and I can't wait to go to the next Vintage One Toy Fair, which will be in November. Uh, it's just great. To... So, yeah, you just can't beat it, really. It's a fantastic experience, and I'm really pleased with everything we've got. Um, more Power Force 2 is always nice. And... Yeah, just great. There's loads of stuff this time. I think this is the most... I've ever seen it at the Vintage One Toy Fair, to be honest. There was, trans there was like four stores with G1 Transformers, just G1 stuff, and maybe a few, well, there was, a few, there was modern stuff as well. But there was, a, you know, entire boxes of G1 Transformers, and there was all five of the Dinobots, or, all, or four of the Dinobots. I checked Grimlock, he was £70. So, you know, there was a great variety of stuff, loads of stuff to choose from. It was really good, and I think that's the best it's been in a while. So, yeah, hopefully it continues to be there. It continues to be. Right, anyway, it's been Retroaction. Thank you for watching. Had a fantastic time. It's definitely one of the best hauls I've ever managed to get at any retro toy fair or toy show. It's just such an incredible haul. It's phenomenal. And definitely worth it. Uh, great day out. Right, anyway, it's been Retroaction. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with reviews on some of this stuff soon. Bye for now.